Johnny knows on the beach today is Rip Hamilton. You know Rip. He used to play for the Yukon Huskies, played for the Chicago Bulls, played for the Detroit Pistons. Who am I missing, Bomani? Washington Wizards. He played. Did he play in Charlotte? He played for a lot of teams. Let's talk to Rip. A lot of NBA players at your wedding. Rashid Wallace, uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, what was specifically memorable that someone did at the wedding? Anybody do something that was particularly memorable? I can't even, I can't even, like, great moments like that, you just look at it and just say, hey, you know what, you're just, you're just blessed that all your friends get an opportunity to come see you at a very special moment in your life. Here's the question. Did Sheed wear Air Force Ones to your wedding, or did he actually put on real shoes? <laughs> hey, you know, you know what's funny? Sheed had on Air Force Ones. It's hard to get him in a suit, let alone just get him to get a haircut. <laughs> and two nights ago, he had his 40th birthday in his official uh, retirement party. And I come in, I come to his party in uh, uh, T-shirt, jeans, sneakers, and he shows up in a suit, <laughs> a lineup, <laughs> a haircut, some Stacy Adams on his feet. I'm looking at him like, "Are you kidding me? Is this the same Rashid Wallace that?" <laughs> that come in the locker room with his headphones on, hair nappy, and everything like that, won't listen to nobody. And he said, hey, Rip, sometimes you got to grow up. <laughs> really? Wow. That's it? He's grown up? Oh, man, we're all the worse for it. You were teammates with Carlos Boozer. You're a friend of Carlos Boozer's. Do you call him aside and say anything to him about what he was doing with his hair that one night where it was just the a little polish. too... The, the shoe, shoe polish. The shoe polish. It was a little too perfect. Yeah, yeah what you, you do? You went... Did you uh, say anything to him? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you, you, That's a good enough answer, uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Carlos Boozer is a great friend of mine. You know, I'm from Philadelphia, you know, Coastville, right outside of Philadelphia. So guys get the Beijing and the black rinse all the time. My cousin Scott just had one in his head the other day. But when Carlos came to the gym that day, I looked Todd Gibson in his face, and I said, <laughs> I blame you. Because you're a big guy, y'all work out each and every day, and you got to bump and grind, and you got to sweat. So if that, whatever you call is on the top of your, on top of his head, actually gets on your skin, and you start to turn that color, and you allow him to get away with that, I blame you. That's, that seems like misplaced blame. I can you can blame a barber, you can blame Boozer, Taj Gibson, collateral damage. I don't know about that. They're bigs. They're bigs. In, in the locker room, the guards, you know, we got our group and we hold each other accountable on the basketball court. The bigs, they do the same thing, too. So as a big, you're holding your other big man accountable for what he does right and what he does wrong. And I just thought that was totally out, it's totally wrong, totally out of pocket. Rip, you go put that on the bigs. I'm <laughs> fighting the fight. You were fighting the fight. We had to give up the fight. Carlos was out here cheating, but you go blame that on Taj Gibson. <laughs> it is. It's strange. It's unusual. Hey, you know, you know what? I've been fighting the fight a long time, and probably just like you, I'm a hair hater. You know, <laughs> I stayed up many nights looking at all them, all them infomercials, trying to say, all right, you know what? What's what's next for me? You know, and when when I seen him do that. I thought about it for a second to try the Beijing, the black rinse, oh, or whatever really? you want to call it. Really? But once, really? But, 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 once, but once I seen it on his head, I said, hey, I'm so happy. We play on national TV a lot. <laughs> you know, the lights are bright. And he got a lot of slack for that, so there's no way. <laughs> Do you have a good Michael Jordan gambling story for us? Do you have a, a time that he was extra competitive with you at a cost? My biggest Michael Jordan story, uh, biggest story was one day after practice, uh, we had shoot, we had, we had actually had shoot around and we were shooting half court shots. So we were actually shooting. I can't tell you how much for every shot that you make. So I'm, I'm dogging him. I'm, 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 I'm sh making every shot for the first 30 minutes. So Michael don't want to quit. And you look at Doug Collins and Doug Collins is a, is a, a, is a coach that's very respected. And when it's time to leave, it's time to leave. And I remember looking over at Doug and saying, Doug, it's time to go. You said guys be on the bus at, a, at 11 <laughs> o'clock, and it's 11 o'clock now. So Michael was like, no, we ain't, no, we ain't leaving. So I'm like, okay, Michael, Coach Doug Collins, who do I listen to? So I'm looking at Doug, giving him the eye, saying, Doug, it's time to go. So we kept shooting. We shot for two hours. 
And I, I'll never forget it because it was like I was an hour and a half into it. And I'm like, I'm tired. I can't keep shooting half court shots. And we kept on shooting, kept on shooting until he, until he got even. And then we got on the bus. I looked Doug in the eye and said, come on, man, you're supposed to be the coach. <laughs> <laughs> but he ended up winning his money back. Rip, my father would like to ask you a question. Go ahead, Poppy. Rick, what was your honest reaction when the Piston they drafted Dra Darko? <laughs> You know what? When you got when you when you got Carmelo out there, Carmelo Anthony out there, ah uh, man, it was hard to pass up on him. I think I, I had every, the, the same reaction everybody else had, and that was. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's what his reaction was. That's pretty good. Yeah, you passed up a lot of good guys. <laughs> He's gonna stay in character. We'll see you later, Rip. Just stay like that. We'll go to commercial with you. <laughs> That's still the Darko look. You just stay like that. Thank you, sir. Just gracias. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> he just, let's see how long he does it for. <laughs>